Did you know that penile lengths on average have grown over the last 29 years? That means that men's actually increased over the last 29 years. I'm Dr. Rita Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and I'm gonna explain a brand new study that looked into this and explain exactly what that means for us. So this is actually pretty surprising because over the years, we've seen a decline in average testosterone levels, more testicular tumors, and more genital defects in newborn babies. In fact, we've also seen sperm counts have gone down worldwide. If you wanna learn more about that, check out my video where I talked about it. But one would expect that with all these changes, there may be actually changes in the visual appearance of the genitalia as well. In a study, a group of researchers did what we call a systematic review. And so they looked for studies where penile length, girth, circumference was measured by a researcher, not by the participant themselves, and they were adults and they had at least 10 or more people in the study. If you had reported your own measurements or you had recent surgery, you were excluded from being part of this study. And they found 75 articles. Of those, 19 studies were in North America, 19 studies were in Europe, five in South America, and the rest in different places around the world. And this covered over 55,000 men. And they looked at penile lengths, flaccid, stretched, and erect. The reason people often use stretched penile length is because we believe it's a surrogate of the erect penile length of a person, because it's kind of awkward sometimes to recruit patients for a study and then induce an erection medically. However, in the studies where they had erect erect measurements, they either had men have a spontaneous erection or they gave them an intracavernosal injection, which is an actually medically induced erection through an injection into the erectile tissue of the penis. And now I know this sounds super scary, but in fact, it's really a small needle and most people tolerate it quite well. Around 40,000 men had flaccid length and stretch length and about 18,000 men had erect length. So 64 studies looked at stretch penile length and they found that measurements ranged from 3.5 to 6.9 inches. Or for those of you who use centimeters, 9.8 to 17.5 centimeters. And the average length was 5.1 inches or 12.9 centimeters. And this did vary across nations with the longest happening to be in South America and the shortest in Asia. And of the 20 studies that looked at erect length, the numbers were similar, but not exactly the same. The ranges were from 3.7 to 6.6 .6 inches or 9.5 to 16.7 centimeters with an average length of 5.5 inches or 13.9 centimeters. And interestingly, what they found is when they looked at these numbers over the course of decades, they found that over time, stretch penile length didn't change. However, when they looked at the erect length over decades, they found that it increased by 24% from 4.8 inches to six inches. Now you guys might be thinking this is great news, right? But maybe it's not. First of all, let's take a little deeper dive into the data. When they looked at things like geographic region, age, the type of volunteers that were involved in the studies, were they volunteers or were they people who had urologic needs and went to a urologist? And how did they get the erection? Was it through intracavernosal injection or through spontaneous erections? They found that these factors didn't really change the fact that the sizes increased over time. However, look Looking at these graphs, I saw something interesting. When you look at subject population, you see most of the increase is due to those who volunteered rather than those who were from a urology clinic. Similarly, if you look at the technique to achieve erection, those who had intracavernosal injections were more likely to see this increase in size. But ultimately, the researchers controlled for these factors and it didn't change the findings. So why did stretch penile length not increase but erect penile length did? Well, the theory is that stretch penile length may not be an adequate indicator in some people. So particularly in older men, you'll see that stretch penile length is longer than their erect length because they tend to get more elasticity in their tissues as they age. Additionally, the force created by the body to create an erection is actually larger than the force you can obtain from a human being actually stretching the penis. So what does this mean for you watching? Great, people have longer penises. That sounds like a good thing, but is it? Interestingly, researchers theorize that the changes in penile 
male length may be due to a number of different factors. One is that boys are going through puberty earlier than they used to. This may be due to chemicals, pesticides, and other things in our environment that may be disrupting our hormone system or our endocrine system. And this can then lead to puberty happening earlier ages and subsequently causing longer penile length. It's really unusual to see such a dramatic change over a short period of time. We do know that certain things in our environment can affect our reproductive system. So could this be a negative? Certainly. Ultimately, we need to be thoughtful about what we're putting in the environment, what we're putting on our bodies, what we're eating, and what we're exposed to because it may be having a negative impact on our bodies. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, remember to take care of yourself because you're worth it. Mm-hmm.